Top 10 Spectacular Glow in the Dark Animals Bioluminescence, aka ability of living organisms to emit light, is one of the most spectacular natural phenomena out there. Animals who were lucky enough to have this awesome feature use it not only to show off, but also to perform various biological functions, like camouflaging, scaring off predators, or communicating. Prepare to meet 10 spectacular animals glowing, blinking, and shimmering with wondrous colors. 1. Fireflies. There are more than 2,000 species of these little bugs, most of which can be found in tropical and subtropical zones. Different species of fireflies emit light of different colors, yellow, green, or red. Some beetles can glow continuously, others blink, and there are those that can adjust the brightness depending on external factors. The Lampyridae are a family of insects in the beetle order Coleoptera with more than 2,000 described species. They are soft-bodied beetles that are commonly called fireflies, glowworms, or lightning bugs for their conspicuous use of bioluminescence during twilight to attract mates or prey. They live near ponds, streams, marshes, rivers and lakes, but they don't need a lot of water to get by. Fireflies produce a chemical reaction inside their bodies that allows them to light up. This type of light production is called bioluminescence. When oxygen combines with calcium, adenosine triphosphate, ATP, and the chemical luciferin in the presence of luciferase, a bioluminescent enzyme, light is produced. 2. Jellyfish. The South Sea, dotted with thousands of shimmering jellyfish in the night, can match even a starry summer sky. Jellyfish use this feature to satisfy our aesthetic senses and, more importantly, to lure and hunt various small organisms, such as protozoa and crustaceans. Jellyfish and sea jellies are the informal common names given to the medusa phase of certain gelatinous members of the subphylum medusozoa, a major part of the phylum Cnidaria. Lacking brains, blood, or even hearts, jellyfish are pretty simple critters. They are composed of three layers, an outer layer, called the epidermis, a middle layer made of a thick, elastic, jelly-like substance called mesogly, and an inner layer, called the gastrodermis. They are food for a number of marine animals such as large fish and turtles. Jellyfish also provide habitat for many juvenile fishes in areas where there are not many places to hide. They can also protect the small fish from being eaten by predators with their stinging cells. 3. Brazilian Glowing Shark The abdomen of the Brazilian glowing shark emits a bright green fluorescent light, which makes this predator less visible when viewed from below, masking the shark from its prey. It is curious that the shark poses danger not only to smaller fish but also to submarines. Representatives of the species have a cigar-shaped elongated body. The muzzle of the animal is dull. On it large eyes are widely planted which help fish to be guided in oceanic depths. The nostrils are covered with small skin folds. The Brazilian glowing shark has a miniature mouth with thick lips, adapted to stick to the prey. On the back there are two small fins, shifted closer to the tail part of the body. The chest trapezoidal fins also have a small size, and the tail fins are rather large. There is a black border around the edges of the fins. 4. The Flashlight Snail, also known as Hini Brasiliana, this snail lights up with a blue-green light when in danger. While other snails can only emit dim flashes from the head area, Hini Brasiliana sparkles like vampire during the day or, you know, a powerful flashlight. The aperture is small and constricted by a callus and the columella, the central structural axis, is thick. The shell is thin at the edge of the aperture but thickens rapidly away from the edge and this thickened part is marked with weak raised ridges known as larae. There is a horny operculum which closes the shell when the soft parts are retracted inside. The color of the shell is white both inside and out. The outer surface is protected at first by a yellowish-brown periostracum which eventually gets worn away. 5. Bioluminescent bacteria. Usually, these bacteria exist in symbiosis with other organisms. Sea creatures provide them with a place to live and a source of food, and in return, use the bacteria's ability to glow for their own purposes. For example, anglerfish harbor luminescent bacteria in their fin to lure their prey. 
and some cephalopods use luminous bacteria in their mantle to make themselves less noticeable due to the effect of backlighting. Bioluminescence occurs through a chemical reaction that produces light energy within an organism's body. For a reaction to occur, a species must contain luciferin, a molecule that, when it reacts with oxygen, produces light. Many organisms also produce the catalyst luciferase, which helps to speed up the reaction. 6. Glowworms. These insects live in damp caves, caverns, and tropical forests, and they feed on magic fungus. One of the most amazing caves where you can see these shining bugs is located in New Zealand, on the North Island near the city of Waitomo. The cave halls look like a trippy planetarium thanks to the amazing glow of the critters that live there. Known as railroad worms for the glowing spots on their body, only the larvae and adult females glow. They can control the lights on their body, which warn predators they are toxic. Like many bioluminescent animals, their light is created by a chemical reaction. Glowworms are most often found as larvae, living under rocks on chalk or limestone grassland, and feeding on slugs and snails. Gardens, hedgerows, railway embankments, woodland rides, heathlands and cliffs are all possible habitats for glowworms. 7. Sea Sapphire, also known as Sapphirina. It's a small cephalopod crustacean creature. This little dude got its funky name for the ability to flicker, going from one translucent color to another, like a precious gemstone. Only males have this magic, and they use it to attract the chicks. Sea sapphires are copepods, little crustaceans with long antennae that live nearly everywhere water is found. In the open ocean, they live between the surface and about 1,000 feet. The flashes of color they produce help them stand out from the endless blue and vary by the depth each species prefers. It can be found on the frosty islands of the world between the first and second boss encounter. Sea sapphire can be mined with any pickaxe or even by hand. 8. Scorpions. Usually, scorpions are not bioluminescent animals, but they emit a bright bluish-green light when exposed to UV rays of a specific wavelength, and sometimes even moonlight. Scientists are still arguing about the function of this strange glow. One theory states that it gives these critters the ability to control light levels to decide whether to hunt that night or just chill. All scorpions fluoresce under ultraviolet light, such as an electric black light or natural moonlight. The blue-green glow comes from a substance found in the hyaline layer, a very thin but super tough coating in a part of the scorpion's exoskeleton called the cuticle. Certain molecules in one layer of the cuticle, the tough but somewhat flexible part of a scorpion's exoskeleton, absorb the longer wavelengths of ultraviolet light and emit it in different wavelengths that are visible at night as a blue-green glow. 9. Squids can put on a real light show that you can watch off the coast of Japan. A piercing blue glow spreads along the seashore from March to May, when the mating season begins. They can light up in unison or create entire patterns of light right underneath the surface of the water. The mantle, head, arms and tentacles are dotted with tiny, light-producing organs called photophores. When flashed, the light attracts small fish, which the squid can feed upon. The squid, and many other deep-sea creatures, use their bioluminescence to light up the underside of their body with a dim glow, a strategy called counter-illumination, to disguise themselves from predators below. By glowing on their underside squids conceal their silhouettes from predators below. 10. Other glowing animals. Glowing fish were created to brighten up our aquariums, but fluorescent cats were supposed to help scientists develop gene therapy for various diseases. While no revolutionary discoveries have been made in this area yet, more and more shining animals keep popping up after the introduction of the luminous DNA. Who glows? At least 1,500 species of fish are known to be bioluminescent, including sharks and dragonfish, and scientists regularly discover new ones. Among the most iconic are deep-sea fishes like the anglerfish, whose females sport a lure of glowing flesh that acts as bait for any prey close enough to be snatched. Many deep-sea fish are bioluminescent, with extremely large eyes adapted to the dark. 
bioluminescent organisms are capable of producing light biologically through the agitation of molecules of luciferin, which then produce light. This process must be done in the presence of oxygen. They look so inviting in the dark sea, it will make you just sit there and watch those glowing in the dark. Do you know any other deep sea creature that shines in the dark sea? Comment below, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, see you on my next video. Marsalama.